Okay guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today, you're going to be creating realistic snow and Houdini. Let's get right into it. Okay, so you're going to want to start off by doing is dropping a geo, do geo node down, renaming it to snow sim, then diving in. Drop down a test geo robotoy. Um, set the Y translate to 1.3, drop a sphere node, and this is going to be the snow, set the center to 4, somewhere like that. If you want there to be more snow that's shown in the thumbnail, just increase the size of the sphere. I'm going to set the uniform scale to 1.5, rows to 130, and columns to 240. Drop a mountain node down. Drop a vellum configure grain. Tick on create points from volume. Set the particle size to 0 0.035. Drop a vellum solver node. On the vellum solver scroll down and tick on ground position um bring the test geo over here and input it into the third input here back on the vellum solver set the sub steps to three and go to forces and set the dynamic scale to 0.2 go to the advanced tab on the vellum solver scroll down to grain collisions Set the repulsion weight to 1 and set the attraction weight to 1. Drop an attribute noise between these two nodes, but only on the first input, so connect it up like that. On the attribute names, pick float and set the CD to attraction weight. Um, click on the info here and click on attraction weight. Um, come down to here, right click and click this pencil and get rid of every colour other than green and red. Make sure it's min and max 0 to 1. Then close this, click D in the viewport on geometry, display particles as points on the attribute noise set the amplitude to 6 and the range values to min and max scroll down to element source and set it to 0.1 uh, on the range values it was supposed to be zero centered sorry about that Scroll down to post process and tick on minimum and maximum and then just turn off this little icon here. Um, come up here and drop down a VDB from polygons. Connect the left input to the mountain and tick off distance and turn on fog. Drop a scatter node and make that visible but set force total count to six then drop down a copy to points node and connect the right input to the scatter duplicate your sphere node here by holding down alt and dragon and bring it down to the left input of the copy to points node set the y center to zero and the uniform scale to a point three five on the scatter node scroll down to relax iterations and turn it up to like 60 drag the global seed to like that drop down an attribute randomize between the scatter and the copy to points node change the attribute name to p scale on the global scale set it to 1.4 drop down a mountain node after the copy to points node set the element size to 
0.35 and the amplitude to 0.05 after the mountain node drop down a points from volume and set the point separation to 0 0.01 drop an attribute create after the points from volume scroll up and set the name as attraction weight then drop down an attribute transfer and connect the right input to the attribute create and the left input the attribute noise which is up here on the conditions tab set the distance threshold to 0 0.015 and on the attribute create scroll down and make sure this value is set to one um come up to the vellum constraints grain and set it to 0 0.015 um on the left input of the vellum solver drop down an attribute delete node um before you do anything with the attribute delete on the attribute transfer connected to this input here and then go on to the venom solver and make it visible and give it a play and see what you have back on the attribute delete node type in star then this little icon and then piece scale And then enter stars into all these other ones. Star. 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 And you should have something like this. Uh, I'm going to go click D in the viewport. On geometry points, set it to pixels. Then drop down a foil cache node. And foil path explicit. Then... Um, I'm gonna go to D draw and just copy that text there. Click X and at the start, just do that. Then save to disk. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt it at like 130 frames because oh, I don't want that much. Um, and so if you play it through, it should just play through nicely. I'm gonna set the frame limit to 130 or 129 let's see okay drop down a null just make it visible and then come out make that invisible then drop down a geo and this is gonna be a snow render and then dive in and then uh, bring in an object merge node. Click here, go on to snow sim, and find your null and accept. Drop down an attribute create node. Name it density. Scroll down to value and this value click one and so just make sure this value here and attribute create is one then drop down a volume rasterize attribute make sure you spell it right though and on attributes pick density you should have something looking like that set the voxel size to 0 0.015 then drop a vdb combine node um on the drop down menu here set that as density and then the a multiplier to minus one then drop a vdb analysis node the output name to custom name 
and set the custom name to gradient then drop down a merge node and combine vdb analysis and the volume plus rasterize attributes and that's what you're gonna do then we're gonna go to the material palette scroll down look for basic basic oil liquid and that's it so drag that onto material and then drag that onto there and set the density scale to 100 go back to slash mat and then go to obj drop down a grid set the uniform scale to 10 create a camera from view uh, scroll up and make sure it's locked probably put it there um, I'm gonna drop down a test geometry rubber toy so go here and tick off add shader scroll up and add your own principal shader to the floor Lastly, it's like a dark grey Probably something like that. Then another principal shader for the test geo and make it black. Then come into render view. Um, we need to add a skylight to all this, so just click here. And then go into render view <clears throat> on the test geo make sure the y is transformed to 1.3 and now if you go to like the noia frame you should have something that looks like snow and so that is pretty much the tutorial I uh, hope you enjoyed.